So there's a little town, probably uh, about another 10 minutes. Oh, we're here. In that, oh, this is the town? Yeah. Oh, Jesus. All right, well, we've actually made it to the town. and didn't even realize, because it's definitely not a town. More of a collection of houses along the road. How's the pork today, Luke? It's pretty good. It's pretty juicy. This seems like a pretty reasonable spot to stop and eat some pork. But the views here in the Philippines are insane. And it's exactly the same, just as nice. And you have these like little fishing boats, whatever they are. Uh, we have just checked out of our hotel. I woke up like half an hour ago. Had a quick shower uh, and then we've checked out. We was staying here in uh, Port of Princess, but now it's time for these two little steeds to take us to the south of the island. Uh, we're just gonna ride like as far south as we can today, I guess, and then uh, stop in like a hotel along the way. We basically have no idea where we're actually going south. Uh, we're just gonna well, head south and see how far we get. God, these flies are annoying. Uh, but yeah, we've actually got two bikes now that we can take south. Uh, so we're going to try and continue what we started in Vietnam, but finish it on this island in the Philippines. And luckily for us today, the weather is looking very nice. It's very sunny and very, very hot. And I'm getting eaten by flies. We are up at a very reasonable time today. It's like half 11. Uh, half 11 in the morning because checkout was at 11, but we were a little bit late, of course. Uh, now we're gonna go ahead and get some food. But I, I cannot stress enough how nice the weather is today. Uh, well, day three of coming to Luke's favorite pork restaurant. We're, to get out of uh, Porta Princesa, you have to head slightly north because it's on a peninsula. So you have to head slightly north and then we're gonna head south when we're off this little peninsula. Uh, and that's Luke's excuse to come back to this pork restaurant for the third day in a row. But it is pretty good pork. Then, uh, I mean, you see this? Oh, well, yeah, can you get rid of it? Oh, I'm so good, sure. Uh, Snapchat says it's 30 degrees right now. I really wish we had this weather when we was actually on the beach because uh, this would be perfect beach weather. How's the pork today, Luke? It's pretty good. It's pretty juicy. This seems like a pretty reasonable spot to stop and eat some pork. Luke's looking, um, <coughs> Luke's looking very comfortable there. Sat on his bike eating his pork. But yeah, like I was saying before, um, we're just gonna head south. Uh, we're gonna head south and just see what happens. Uh, we don't have a dead. Oh, hello, man. Uh, there's a guy there who just said hello. He's got a dog and his bike with him. But yeah, we don't know where we're going or where we're sleeping tonight. We're just gonna head south and see how far we get, just see what happens, really. Out of pure curiosity. Right then, are you ready? Yeah. Gotta do this one handed. Here we go, wait, wait, this for good. Alright, we'll go after this uh, bike. Alright, go. You can really feel how warm the, uh, the road surface is. Uh, when you're on a bike, and, like the pit and the road has been heated up in the, in the ripping sun all day. There are some really nice views. I don't know how well my camera picks this up, but you can really just see the rolling hills in the distance, completely covered in forest. A little goat farm or something, maybe a bunch of goats uh, chilling and eating in that field. I really love these big open roads that they have here in the Philippines. Uh, and these are pretty amazing views. We've been driving for like maybe half an hour now, just south along this road. Uh, and there are a bunch of these like little uh, 
villages that I would really love to check out but maybe uh, not just yet maybe we'll do a bit later when we actually make a bit more distance so yeah as we're driving down the road uh, we went across this little bridge uh, and there's this pretty amazing view you can see in the distance uh, that as this river is like making its way through the landscape but far in the distance I don't know how well my camera's picked this up but you can just see the rolling hills just completely covered in in pure forest there's not a road there's not a house there's nothing in sight just completely untouched landscape and the same on this side but you can't really see it because of the the guardrail things but yeah very uh, very scenic definitely So yeah, as we're driving down the road, we're still not even safe to sales pitches. As we're driving down the road, uh, a lady in like a big uh, like 4x4 truck was driving alongside me, hanging out the window, pointing to her like little uh, resort, saying we should come to her resort. And I think that might have actually been that jungle resort that I was saying we we're going to go to. We've decided not to go to it because we're just going to head as far south as we can now. But I think that was actually the same resort. And that would have been a bit of a coincidence if it was yeah we just stopped here to have like a little hydration stop because it's boiling hot as we're driving down the road uh, it's like a million degrees but the nice cool breeze that you get from driving uh, is very uh, very refreshing very nice and today my helmet doesn't fly off my head because I've actually tightened up, it's actually a proper fitting helmet today, which is handy. Because previously, if I did more than like, you know, 40 miles an hour, it'd be flying off my head. And I'd have to keep uh, readjusting it. Yeah, my GoPro did just run out of uh, storage. So I had to go, like on the side of the road, I had to go back and delete like a whole bunch of footage. Uh, and now we've stopped again. But this road is very fun to ride on, it's very satisfying, uh, it's extremely smooth. And now we have found this little forest path that we're going to walk up to see if there's like a view uh, at the top. We've left our rucksacks down by our bags, so I hope they'll be fine. I've got everything in that rucksack. If I lost that, I would be screwed. That's a pretty nice view. Some banana trees. I hope someone doesn't just rock up onto the side of the road, grab our bags and yeah. and ditch. Yeah, pretty interesting. No idea what trees are. Even though we are pretty uh pretty far out from uh even though yeah we are quite far out can't this we're kind of remote right now this place is still not protected from from littering which is not good uh safe from littering is what i should have said uh these views i know i keep saying them but the views here in the philippines are insane i just went across another bridge I couldn't stop unfortunately because uh, there are like men tarmacking that bridge but the view is insane there's sort of, like a river and the river's like cutting through the uh, the little hills again with all the yo hey man with all the, the palm trees and, and banana trees everywhere it's like everywhere I go there's like an amazing view and the people are very friendly everyone's waving at me yeah this uh, i'll show you exactly what i was talking about before about the the views from the bridge so look at this view it's a pretty incredible view and this water looks uh very inviting to jump in and the view is the same on the other side of the road yeah maybe i'll jump in after you luke uh so yeah this is the other side of the road uh and it's exactly the same, just as nice. And you have these like little fishing boats, whatever they are. Oh, there's a guy down there. Can I just have like one litre then? Hmm? Can I just have one litre then? If you don't have change. Okay. 
Thank you. Uh, do you have the, the thingy to actually pull it in? Not that I do. Well, it doesn't look like I'm going to. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's the one. All right, thank you. That's nice. That's not good. Nah, premium whiskey this is. You can actually point the camera at me, like. Yeah, it is point at My head's chopped off. Oh well, this is premium whiskey. No one wants to see your head, lad. Are you gonna... I need a better cameraman. Jeez. It's 2,000 views and he's missed his fucking la dee da <laughs> find some of this. <laughs> There's about a 90% chance it's going to be horrible. Does she know what it is? No, not me. She doesn't know. She doesn't know? <laughs> she must not know the English because... Oh, right. Well, we will find out, won't we? Come on! It's like good or bad or...? <laughs> I'm not sure. I wouldn't Maybe drink I won't that. drink it. Yeah, it's not really worth the risk. But... You can drink that? Like... No? It's okay? Like... She's shaking her head, no. no. I wouldn't risk oh, it. Right. Oh, okay. yeah. I think she's saying no drink, maybe. Uh, well, I kind of don't want to then. Ah, uh, it's... Leave it. Ah, okay. <laughs> I'll just let you keep that. <laughs> <laughs> I told you not to buy it. Well, it looks like a drink. Yeah, well, uh, clearly it's not. Okay. <laughs> So what, what actually is that? Is that is that for your bike? Is that for a bike? Hi. Oh, it's not for a bike. Oh, okay. What? It might be for cooking or something. Oh, for cooking. Yeah. That doesn't look like a drink. Uh, we're we've stopped off in this completely little random town along the way. Uh, I think this is a bus stop actually. Uh, not sure. But we might get some food. There looks to be like a knockoff Kenny Rogers there. Eh? Uh, for those who don't know what Kenny Rogers is, it's a very big like roasters brand that I've only ever seen in Manila. Sure, I've never seen uh, any Kenny Rogers outside of Manila, uh, and that one there looks like a, a knockoff one. So I might try that. Uh, we're currently going down this extremely bumpy road. Uh, we're going down this extremely bumpy road. We saw a sign for a beach resort. That way it said beach resort, three kilometers. So we're gonna go and see what the beach is like and uh, put our oceanography theory to the test about being south on this side of the island. So we're trying to chase uh, the clearest oceans and the nicest beaches. So when we went to Gilear and Kopibi, the waters were crystal clear. You could see down like 30 feet, no problem. It was like it was in some kind of aquarium. Because Luke's turning into a bit of an oceanographer here. <laughs> but this is kind of what it's come down to. So uh, what's your theory, Luke? I think it's to do with the, these are the waves. And we went all the way from halfway up Vietnam, all the way down south, and this was all once again, you can see the strong waves. And we had a hard time finding any clear water. Yeah, we've come, the, the we've beaches come here. and the seas in Vietnam were nice, but it definitely wasn't as clear as Gilear and Kopipi. And the same happened in here. We're currently like up here, and we've got strong winds also causing murky yeah. water. Yeah, we're currently on the northwest side of this island that's getting blasted with this wind. So we're thinking now, if we head down south, if we head yeah. down here, then maybe it won't be getting blasted with the wind and the water will be much clearer. Because we've just done a little bit of research and it basically says the clarity of the oceans is heavily dependent on, on the wind currents, basically. And this is a, the wave map. It kind of, um, it correlates to that information. You so. see the tile, like all the tile yeah. islands are protected and it's... So, so some of the nicest, what, not some of the nicest waters we've ever been in 
was like Kofi P and Pukat and his and his skin tastes like proper proper protected. Oh a little bit bumpy. Seems the uh the cobbly stony road has turned into sand. Very it's uh good. Very happy about that. I don't remember three kilometers being this far. So we're driving down this road trying to find this little beach resort. Uh, we're going for like a, like a palm tree forest or something. It looks very nice. Clearly like man-made because they're like arrow straight lines, but it's still very cool to look at. It should be this way though, right? It did say three kilometers this way. All right, well, uh, we've lost the beach resort. There is a sign down there. Uh, so we have uh, turned back on ourselves now. Uh, we turned back on ourselves because uh, I wasn't really uh, confident that that was actually the way. And now we're back on some really bumpy ass road. But hopefully, because the beach is in this direction, it makes more sense that this road heading in the direction of the beach would lead to the beach resort. But it's just that sign back there doesn't uh, make that clear at all. So it's actually pointing in like the wrong direction. So we'll see. Oh, yeah. And it runs right in the direction of me. It could have run the other way, but it doesn't. It runs towards the bike. Hello? Hello? Ah, uh, this does look like a little beach as well. This is a cool little area. Has, ooh, there's a very happy dog. Hey, dog. Hello. Yeah, 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 this looks pretty cool. Yeah, maybe the uh, the beach resort was actually down this road. Uh, I have no idea, to be honest, but this is pretty cool. Cool little area. It's probably about time you start looking for a hotel. Uh, there are like none on Google, uh, none on like Booking and Xperia and all that lot. So all else fair, well, we're gonna go along that road and see about this one hotel we both saw along the way. And if all else fails, we can sleep in these boats tonight. It should be very peaceful. The sounds of them crickets. Is that crickets? They're loud. It's a pretty cool looking house. Hello. Oh, so our quest to find a hotel is not going too well at the moment. Uh, so there's a little town, probably uh, about another 10 minutes. Oh, we're here. In that, oh, this is the town? Yeah. Oh, Jesus. All right, well, we've actually made it to the town. We didn't even realize, because it's definitely not a town. More of a collection of houses along the road. But in total, we've been probably riding our bikes for about five hours now. Uh, definitely worth it, but my back is uh, hurting a lot. But yeah, definitely worth it. The, the, the scenery is like insane. Uh, and now that the sun is starting to set, and we're, in, and we're in this completely random place, so I hope we find a hotel soon. This is like a, a water supply system. There's the beast.
because all my stuff, my office, my home, 